The ABN Group was established in 2007 by Zafar Siddiqui and Rakesh Wahi with a vision to become Africa's most credible aggregator and disseminator of business and economic news. The group hosts the two most recognizable and influential brands, CNBC Africa and Forbes Africa. Within a span of 10 years, both the brands have achieved the number one spot in their genres in sub-Saharan Africa and have played an important role in changing the negative perceptions of the African continent. Despite being a small business, the ABN Group has been extremely conscious of its social responsibilities and the need for close engagement with the community and has therefore participated in several charitable causes in sub-Saharan Africa. So as not to dilute activities into small initiatives, the ABN Education Trust was established in 2011 by founder Rakesh Wahi to consolidate the CSR activities of the ABN Group. The Trust gets its funding from the Wahi family, the ABN Group of Companies, Transnational Academic Group and through the tireless efforts of its patron, Mrs. Saloni Wahi. The Group MD, Mrs. Roberta Nyker, along with other trustees, have worked tirelessly to raise funds through various initiatives including women empowerment events, golf days, auctions and appeals to corporates and individuals that have a focus on helping the needy. The group took a decision to focus on three principal activities. The first is to support orphanages with opportunities to children who were in a desperate situation through no fault of their own. Rather than support established orphanages, the ABN Education Trust took a decision to support those orphanages that are so small and rudimentary and weren't established under any proper corporate structures nor receive either government grants or corporate support. One example is the Tutuzela Orphanage in Alexandra that the Trust first gifted with a minibus in 2012 and then in 2014 helped it move to a permanent home in Kelvin. The Trust raises awareness for such daycare centres by helping them be sustainable and then moves on to assist others. The Trust is currently assisting Abangani in Cosini, another daycare centre that provides a daily soup kitchen to children in Alexandra Township by waterproofing of their current facilities, provision of freezers, cupboards for the kitchen, clothes, books and much more. The second is to provide tertiary education bursaries to students, particularly young women, although not limited to financial journalism at universities like University of Johannesburg and Witts University. Over the last six years, the Trust has provided bursaries to over 30 students to complete their graduation. The Trust has also provided support to the children of its own staff through bursaries for their studies at universities. Uh, my name is Phil. I'm a second year BCom and uh, Business Innovation student at AFTA. And ABN is, is uh, currently helping me pay for my fees right now. And it, 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 it means a lot to me because uh, it, it, they've given me an opportunity that many people don't get, you know, because a lot of people don't get uh, the opportunity to actually get to varsity and uh, pursue their dreams. Similar bursaries have been provided to students in Ghana, Rwanda and South Africa. The third are internship opportunities to young Africans for invaluable workplace experience that provides them the necessary foundation to apply for jobs and enter the formal workforce. The recipients are encouraged to seek suitable careers and not necessarily within the ABN group of companies. Over the last 10 years, over 250 internships have been given by the ABN group through various group companies. A recipient of the ABN bursary, Christina Mundwa, is currently in Germany pursuing her dream as a journalist for a leading news broadcaster. So I applied for the ABN Trust Scholarship, I was interviewed and what I remember is that I really got the sense that these people were all about helping young people like myself. They had a way of seeing into somebody's passion and in any way that they could. In addition to the core activities, the Trust participates in various other activities that resonate with the core values of the founders. One such activity was to support an organization in Kenya that was working to get young girls off the streets and to settle them from an existence of abuse into a dignified life. The vision of the Trust is to spread its philanthropic activities across sub-Saharan Africa in all regions where the ABN Group has a presence. Over the last six years, the ABN Education Trust 
has established a culture of compassion within its staff who have contributed their time to care for children in the orphanages by holding Christmas parties and other events with the young children. This ethos resonates throughout the group. One notable example was Patrick Sebukulu, a staff member who used to take two children home from Tutuzela over the weekend and looked after them for several years. ABN staff have also been encouraged to spend 67 minutes at different orphanages on the 18th of July each year for Nelson Mandela Day. The time is spent playing and helping these young bright children play and complete their homework. To find out more information on either one of the initiatives or become involved, please contact ABN Education Trust at abn360.com.